Okay, so we're going to use a portable autoclave today just to sterilise this sample of water. Um, before you start, you need to make sure it's labelled with your name and what it is. And just put my initials on and sterile distilled water. Then pop it into the portable autoclave. The autoclave itself needs water in the base to just above the pan inside. So tip some water in there like that. And that should be okay. Yeah. Right, so for each process. Uh, you need to ensure sterilisation. It's not necessarily every single run, but occasionally you need to use a, a sterility test indicator like this. Just pop it inside a beaker and pop it in with the, the items you want to sterilise. Now you're ready to put the lid on, which you should use. The two fixed wing nuts on the lid go on the two without wing nuts on the base built clave. Just firmly clip each one down. Make sure they're tight. Then go round the others opposite using the two opposite each other rather than going round like so done all those just make sure you've got them all tight and you're ready to light the gas. So you can now light the gas. Once you've started the, the gas you must make sure that this water valve is closed and this valve is open. This is to vent the air out as the, as the, the autoclave heats up the air will be vented out of this valve ensure that there's steam to sterilise whatever you got in your autoclave. Okay now I've switched the, the gas on the atmosphere inside uh, the autoclave will heat up and the water will heat up and once it gets to 100 on this dial it will vent out of this open valve the, the reason for this is you need to purge the air inside the autoclave so that the atmosphere becomes steam rather than hot air. This will ensure proper sterilisation of the items you, you've got inside. Once you've had a couple of minutes of 100 degrees you can then close this valve then this pressure will, gauge will go up as the pressure inside the autoclave goes up to 121. At this point the steam will be released out of this gauge which will control the pressure inside the autoclave. Once you hear the steam coming out of this gauge you can commence timing of your 15 minute 121 cycle. Okay, so, so now the autoclave has been venting for a couple of minutes, so we can now close this valve, taking care not to touch any other part of the autoclave as it, it will burn you. After three or four minutes, the steam is now venting out of the regulator and the needle has reached the red zone, which indicates the autoclave has reached its sterilisation temperature. You can now commence timing 
and you can also turn down the gas to a simmer setting rather than the full setting which we've had. When the 15 minutes timing is up you simply turn off the gas and wait for the autoclave to cool down. The autoclave is cooled to below 100 um, and the pressure gauge is at least down to zero can be emptied. It's preferable to get at least below 80 but you can open it once it's below 100 but you need to first of all open this valve as you get some negative pressure in the autoclave. At this point you need to wear some heat proof gloves as well. You undo the wing nuts in the opposite method to doing them up. So the two captive nuts, which are these two here, are done last. The lid will come away as you undo these two. still very hot and you need time to cool down. <laughs> 